my YouTube channel. Today I want to show you a few hands movement. When I dance, I often receive feedback from people about the way how I move my hands and they always tell me how beautiful they are, how beautiful I move them and um, how hypnotic <laughs> it is uh, uh, my hands movement. Um, I do believe that hands carry energy and carry um, a, a great amount of prana and chi. So I believe that, I think that when people watch my video and get, they get hypnotized by my hands, what they actually perceive is the amount of energy that I channel and project through through my hands. I was trained as an energy healer when I was very little and I have practiced uh, energy healing for a very long time. Now I am just focusing on healing through dance so a great amount of my knowledge in the field of energy healing has transferred and merged with my dance practice and the teaching and the methodology. So today I want to show you first how to warm up your hands in a way that they become a little bit more fluid, a little bit more uh, energetically uh, charged and so that also your movement will become energetically charged. Of course, there is a big amount of very strong intention to whatever you do with your body, both when you do yoga, when you practice Qigong, when you do dance, especially if you do all these three things with me. So let's start with the, the warm up that I actually do uh, with my hands to start to open the meridians or the nadis, the, the subtle channel through which the energy pass uh, and flow in order to direct and direct the energy where I want the energy to go. So first, let's start with a very simple warm-up exercise. Start here. Your body is straight, feet are parallel, like one fist apart. Your hands are uh, in front of you, arms are straight and parallel to the ground. Navel is lightly kept in, flex your hands down, so you stretch your wrist and then flat. This alone is very powerful because you can feel really, really all the tension that you are holding in your wrist. And if you take some time, so when you bend, you hold one or two seconds, then when you bring them flat, you hold one or two seconds. Keep going, breathing. And then shake. It's important to relax tension. So if you continue to bring tension into the body, it's not that enjoyable. <laughs> Hands here, palms parallel, shoulders down, same thing down and up, hold. And this one is very interesting because for example, I feel a little bit more tension in this position when I make my hands flat. So I actually hold a little bit more precise here. Relax and shake. There is another movement that you can do to warm up here. Palms facing forward, down, up, down, up, down, up. And shake. It's not necessary to do it for too long. Same thing you can do it with your palms um, facing inside with your arms parallel to the ground. Up, down, up, 
down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. This alone can really help the prana to circulate, but there is another component in, your, uh, in our hands that, that needs activation. Actually, two components. One is the center, your palms, and the other one are your fingers. So let's start to massage the center, the center of your palm, like this. You can press it, you can just simply circulate it, and you don't need to actually press it that much. It's sufficient to just circulate it and then circulate it to the other side. This activates the chakras or the opening, energetic opening in your hands, and it opens really the flow of energy both in exit and entrance. The other way. Switch direction after every five seconds. Now, now I'm wearing rings, but you can do this exercise without rings. One finger at a time, grab it, twist it, and then snap it. <laughs> twist it, very kind, nothing strong, and release it. And you can shake your hands. This was helping me a lot when I was doing an uh, energy healing session because it would clear the energy in my hands very, very quickly. Anything that may be attached to my fingers was gone right away. And now, yes, open and close, very close, very fast. Now we can do some work with our hands. So first of all, in order to make your movement, your hands movement nice, you have to understand that the movement starts from your wrist. It doesn't start from your fingers, even though you can, it, it looks like it might come from your fingers, like this one. No, it comes from your wrist. The pulse is from your wrist. If you isolate and you don't look at my hands, you look only, you see only my wrist. Another good thing to keep in mind is that my fingers are close to one another. They're not open. I'm not doing something like this. It doesn't make, you know, it's, it's not the same. My fingers are together. They are soft, they are not hold like this, but they are soft, but they are together, okay? This is very elegant. So your wrist is the uh, leader of the movement, is the one that guides. So one thing to help the wrist to become aware of this leading position is to play with the wrist a little bit. I'm just moving my wrist up and down, up and down. I'm not moving my hands, this is moving the hands, this is moving the wrist. And I'm keeping my fingers completely relaxed. I'm pushing my wrist up above the elbow line and down to neutral. The other way. Okay. One other exercise to, you know, I'm breaking down the movement of your hands is fingers movement. Okay. 
To activate your fingers even more, there is this exercise that we do in Indian classical dance. Another way to do it is from above, from here. And it's uh, widely used in, in belly dance, for example. So if I'm bringing my hands, you see, my wrists are, are leading, okay? Leading, 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 leading. Here, my wrist lead and turn my fingers inside. 